Now, News 19 Sports. Hearts are heavy in many corners on the campus of UW Lacrosse and beyond. As we told you earlier, longtime football coach Roger Herring died this morning at his home in Lacrosse. He was 88 years old. Herring was more than about wins and losses. He cared about his players off the field as well, wanting them to continue their journeys after football. Those who played and coached with him describe him as a player's coach. Uh, he was um, the first person you thought about when you heard about UW Lacrosse football. And he was an absolute icon, um, just a great man. Well, you know, I almost daily think, you know, what would, what would coach say? So um, he, he meant so much to everybody that played for him. Um, you know, he, he had, I don't know, 271 wins, I want to say, but uh, he was a better man than, uh, you know, any number that you could put on it. Uh, he meant so much to everybody, and uh, he'll be greatly missed. He cared about the individual person, not just as a football player. He wanted to make sure that you learned about life, not just the game of football. Um, uh, to be able to deal with adversity that we all deal with in our lifetime and, and teach lessons through the game of football. Um, just a, a caring person that loved every one of his players. Herring retired from coaching in 1999. The stadium at the Veterans Memorial Sports Complex was named in his honor. He left an indelible mark, not only on the football field, but in the community and with the young men who played for him. I listen to Coach Herring speak, it's just a big motivational speaker. It like, totally motivates me because he's been there and, and in the moments in the hey, heat we, of the battle. We came into the ball game, we said we played hard, we played together, we won the ball game, we said you'd feel awful good. How do you feel? Good! I've heard this cliche so many times that I always say my dad said if you find a job you enjoy uh, you never have to work the rest of your life and that sounds pretty good to me. The true thing is the relationship with the kids, how you feel about them and how they feel about you. Coach Harry, he is UWL football and his spirit will live on. His spirit will live on indeed. Sincere condolences to Roger's wife, Mary, and the Herring family. And Dustin, uh, Roger's passing comes on the first day of fall practice today for this year's Eagles. That's it for sports. Back over to you.